I do want to say one thing because I do know somebody who recently their behavior has been a bit different and, um, and they keep making, um, connections with numbers. Like this is when, you know, I got married. This is when you got married. This is what, and like numbers, like never before. And then when I read this, it kind of made sense to me. So scientists have, re- scientists have recently explored the ways in which it's closely tied to mental illness, this whole thing that we're just talking about, alerting us to the real dangers of this pattern-seeking habit of ours. Researchers have found that those suffering from schizophrenia or perhaps bipolar disorder or post-traumatic stress disorder as well have a higher tendency to see patterns and randomness and find meaning in coincidences, coincidences, leaving them vulnerable to false perceptions of reality. I just thought that was kind of interesting, the way the brain, again... So I want to go back to the spiritual conversation because then how do you know what to take seriously and what not to? How do you actually know, and maybe you've seen this, where other people interpret a coincidence in a way that you find illogical or just plain wrong, right? Sometimes students come to us and they're like, okay, this is the person I'm supposed to marry because, you know, they had a, whatever, they, their name is the same as my great grandmother, whatever the thing is, you know, how do you know when it's random or when it's not? I, I'm not sure I can answer that question completely. Ooh, except I like to say, when you can't answer a question. Except to say that you want to approach all of this with humility. You want to approach all of this with humility. That's a good word. Explore that. Right. I mean, the point is, I wouldn't make huge decisions based on a sign, right? This is sort of going a little bit um, off topic of coincidences into so- what people well, see really, as signs. not really, I think that many people who... I don't want to say are not believers, but, you know, tend to, like you said at the beginning, think that coincidences are just for people who are religious or, you know, really believe that it is connected to, is it a sign, is it not? That's why some scientists really believe in this, some do not. Right. But I think that most of us are probably on the other gamut, the other side of the gamut, which is that we do not pay attention enough to what you can call a coincidence. You know, I think I might have shared this story, but, uh, you know, my mother was very, lived very much in the realm of Science. knowing. <laughs> well, she always, right? Yes. Connecting. Like, things. she, I remember, this is maybe 40 years ago, she was looking for an accountant, and she, she stops at a, at, a, at a red light, and she sees a big sign that said, you know, an accountant in this number, and he became, you know, an accountant for many, many years. Where we do want to uh, work is... Being aware of the fact that the universe is talking to us all the time. 